What's going on guys? Dude with Dan back in the garage again with the Harley build series. You know the deal. We're working on this 1972 Harley dirt bike trying to turn it into something that's not a 1972 Harley dirt bike. I know a lot of you guys love it. I know more people hate it. And uh, today we're going to continue. Um, got a couple surprises for you. The exhaust, which was the last piece that I needed to show up before we could get this bike to run, is here. So we're going to try to get this bike running today. Going to do some of the wiring, going to mount the seat, and maybe do the headlight if we have time, depending on uh, time, I guess. I also got a shorter throttle cable and a shorter clutch cable so we can actually wire those in today. And hopefully it'll be all good to go. Now surprising enough as it is, we have help today from the Moto Omino app. I know I've talked about it before in the past, but they like the way we're, we're doing stuff. They like to see us on the, on the app and things have been turning out pretty well. So if you're unfamiliar with the Moto Amino app, it's a lot like Tinder except for nobody's trying to have sex with you and it's all about motorcycles. So it's not like Tinder at all. As you can see, there's the uh, Moto Amino app. If you look at it, it gives you a bunch of different like forms that you can basically look at, like long trip tips if, you wanna, if you're planning on taking a long trip anytime soon. You have to pardon my dirty hands because I've been working on the bike all day. Uh, there's different groups for uh, riders like Alabama, and these are open pages so you can you can come in here and uh, join the different live streams and, and look at these, ch you know, you can join the conversation and chats. You can do checking in to your locations. It works a lot like Facebook except for motorcycles. You can look at your type of bikes like sport bikes and then, you know, you can just follow different types of bikes that you want. You can choose lifestyles if you if you're interested in, in fixing stuff. You go to the mechanic and repairs option, and then that'll bring you to uh, like different t subjects because it's motorcycles. It's mostly about zip ties. So here's the uh, little tiny exhaust pipe. This is totally temporary. No, this is not permanent. I basically just needed this to make sure the bike runs and to kind of set up the exhaust. I'm actually talking with a local shop seeing if we can do a custom bend on an exhaust pipe, but this will suffice in the meantime. But first things first, we need to mount the seat. You're saying, Dan, it already looks mounted. Well, it's not. It just comes right off. But before I can even decide where I want to mount the seat, which looks pretty basic, I'll just make some brackets that go across, I need to uh, put the tank on first so I can figure out where I want to mount the seat. That's easy. Pretty snazzy looking little bike, isn't it? It's pretty fucking neat, dude. Let's get a, a look at this. this. So this is an idea of how the finished bike is going to look. The parts of the bike. But hey, look how fucking neat a burrito that is. I'll probably lower the forks a little bit in the front. So if I decide I want to cut that off, it's like no turning back, which no turning back happened a while ago, but I'm just not sure if I want to shave that off. And don't worry, uh, everyone said that these need to be flipped around because they're called piggybacks and that part goes in the back. So I, whatever, I'll do that later. I think that's a good look. I think that's probably going to be the best of both worlds. You do have a little bit of a gap between the seat and the tank, but that's good because you, that way you can still detach the tank without having to take off the seat, I guess. I don't know. So I think the best way to do this is take this steel and bend it up on both ends so it has kind of like a raised platform, and then just weld it onto this and then mount the seat to it. There's no way I'm gonna be able to suspend this deal, so I think this is cut and weld. This is gonna have to be cut and weld. After a little bit of welding and grinding, I got a little seat mount going for me right here. Now I need to stick it on the bike. Um, to weld on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, sand the areas down, prep it and shit like that, and then just weld these tabs to there, and that'll be the rear seat mount. Alright, now the rear portion of the seat is mounted with just the rear mount that I just got done making. I don't feel like making the front mount right now, so I'm just going to leave it with the rear. But the rear is on there nice and tight. Uh, I tighten on the bolts, it won't move I'm sure, but rear portion of the seat is done. I don't feel like fucking with the front right now. I'm going to finish assembling the motor. So did you set the alarm off? What alarm? These these plastic spacers. I'm not really sure. I also don't know which way it's supposed to go. I guess this side's the air filter side. There's really not much other options.
Oh yeah. Boom, carburetor's off. Back to it, look at that. This is good, so. This fucking thing. What did I just say? Dude, we're getting there, man. We are so getting there. So, I was actually really concerned about this headlight being hard to mount, but I was able just to use a washer and some bolts and reuse the hole. Just as simple as that. And it's good to go, and it's already at kind of like an angle. That's pretty much facing straight forward. That'll be blinding people left and right. Hey, we'll worry about all that later. Like I said, the rear seat is, uh, the seat is pretty much done. I need to finish mounting up the front, which I'll do tomorrow. Carburetor and throttle have been set up, which wasn't hard at all. So now it's got great snapback. I'll have to rig up the lights. Kill switch is good to go. I'm receiving some help tomorrow about the wiring. That's the only thing that's stopping us right now. And the fact that I don't have my car um, as you can see, my car is not out here. We figured out what was the, the issue with the check engine light and it's getting worked on right now. So it's obviously it's not here. So I can't like go out and buy more parts or get fresh gas or, uh, you know, the stuff that I need. So I'm kind of, st I'm stuck here. The Cyclops is coming to life, man. I can't believe that I've gotten this far in such a small amount of time, you know. I had projected this would be done quicker, but I always joke around about that. Like this is, this is actually going pretty quick. And the reason why there's a gap in between the seat and the tank is because uh, this is this little bracket right here. I didn't want this to be rubbing up against that all the time, so I, I did keep a little bit of a gap. But yeah, uh, the exhaust. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I might have to get. Let's see. I wonder if I could cut this off here and just put the baffle right here facing out. I don't know if that's too short of just a pipe, but goes up, little leg guard right there. I mean, that leg guard's nowhere near me too. Plenty of room. We're getting there, dude. It's coming It's coming down to the last couple of days, last couple of episodes. And I know a lot of people are worried about that front not having enough clearance. Don't worry, I've, uh, I've compressed the springs. It's got plenty of clearance in the front between the, the piston head and the wheel. I might be able to chop the springs a little bit. We'll see about that. I haven't decided how I'm going to do the um, speedometer here. Uh, I might end up going with like a GPS speedometer. I don't really know. Because the speedometer cable is a little bit different on these bikes. I know a lot of people were worried about the uh, the Cyclops light bar look. But dude, I think that, I personally think that looks fucking dope. So I'll cut these off. I don't know if I should cut these off or I should reuse them for a license plate mount. I, don't, I haven't really decided yet starting to come together. It's 
So tomorrow is wiring and firing this bitch up. This thing will be running tomorrow, if I, no matter what, hopefully. So I know it's probably a, a this is this is not exactly a long video, um, and I skipped out on V Duck yesterday because I literally had nothing of value to post. I was like, I know I said I was gonna make a video every day until Christmas, but literally, I mean, it was. I sat at the house waiting on my car to be fixed. I've been editing more videos for the video game channel, so that's a thing. So that's why there wasn't a V Duck yesterday. But this one's gonna be a little bit shorter, and I apologize. There wasn't a whole lot of visually pleasing things happening. Um, I didn't even record me welding the rear. Um, mount just because of the type of hurry I was in trying to get this shit done before it got too late and lo and behold it did so like I said tomorrow I will be doing my absolute best to get this thing running and and um, I was gonna try to say rideable but the chain that I have on there is incredibly long for the motor mount itself so I need to get a smaller chain and maybe a new sprocket I don't know